Ollie, defeat uh, on beta run comes to an end. Can you sum up your disappointment for us, please? Yeah, I think it's very disappointing because I feel like there was parts in the game where we could have gone and seen it out and maybe got a few more. Um, but it's really disappointing because I thought there was, could have been something in the game for us. You mentioned that specifically, having led obviously twice in the game. I suppose that makes it more of a, a bitter pill to swallow given the fact we, we could and possibly should have seen it out in times. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think it was hard. Um, when we go 2-1 up, I felt like the second half we came out really sharp and really fast. Um, and then we should have probably seen the game out um, away from home with 2-1. It's a good result here, um, but it didn't go our way. But now we'll be back on until Tuesday. It seemed to be a bit of a turning point in the second half. As you mentioned, we come back out, uh, we looked strong and we were putting them under a lot of pressure and we just didn't seem to try and kind of get make that pay in a way and then they come back onto us and, and what happened happened. It must have been uh, difficult to take given the way that we, we looked a stronger team at the start of the second half. Yeah, it, it was difficult. I feel like that the 2-1 was it was a good cushion and maybe we could have got another one in the first 10 minutes, but obviously we didn't and that's where we should have maybe closed up shop and away from home. Um, but as we say, we'll be in on Monday working hard. Um, I think we'll look back at the game uh, and then we'll go and try and win on Tuesday. I suppose in terms of positives, you know, given the league positions and the, the calibre of the opposition coming here and taking a 2-1 lead into the second half, you know, despite the fact we're not able to see it out, there are positives there and there are things that we can take into Tuesday and beyond. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of positives. I felt like we were good attacking forward uh, and we looked really strong at the back. I think it was just a few little mistakes here and there what have cost us the game. Uh, but we all go as a unit together um, and we will work hard and I feel like we will we'll turn up for Tuesday and then uh, go and do that again. On a personal note, your debut uh, and a goal as well in your debut, I suppose it's in, in vain slightly a little bit now, but on a personal note, it'd be, be good for you to get out there and, and make your debut for this club. Yeah, I think it's a bit of a bit of sweet moment for me because coming on and playing for Bradford was a, was a great experience for me uh, and getting the goal. Uh, it was really, really good as well. Gets my confidence high. Um, I'm just going to carry on working hard as possible, um, and hopefully there's more to come from me. You mentioned that confidence, uh, getting off to a good start like this, coming in, scoring the goal. I suppose it takes the nerves off a little bit uh, in terms of coming into your first club. Um, sorry, making your first appearance, coming into a new club, and taking it from there. It kind of eliminates the chances maybe of getting into to settle with your new teammates and hitting the ground running going forward. Hopefully. Yeah, I think the goal obviously helps me settle in with all the lads. Uh, they've been class with me from the start till now. Um, I'm really looking forward to carry on on this this uh, run. And Tuesday, you mentioned straight back out against Scunthorpe. I suppose when the run comes to an end, as it has done today, your focus is immediately on on the future and and how we can put it behind us and and get back going again. I suppose. Yeah, I think now we're going to concentrate on Tuesday uh, and get another run going. I feel like all the lads are disappointed, but we all said in the change rooms, let's just go again Tuesday and start another run.